Good morning, fellow YouTubers. See where my dog is focused? He's focused on the treats I have prepared for him because I'm going to take a little early morning Sunday ride or Saturday morning ride. Just a little one, little early one. So I want to kind of talk about times of day time of day that you prefer riding the most. Gave you a few seconds to think about that. Because there's a lot of different times, especially depending on what time of year it is, if it's daylight savings time or not. But this is my favorite time of the day, early morning. So right now, it's about 7, in between like 7.15 and 7.30. But um, if it's summertime, I don't even mind getting started at like 6 a.m., 6.30. And, um, you know, just, just so long as the sun's either up or just about to come up. Because, I mean, look at, I just love the morning. You know, to me, it's like... You know, almost food. You know, the bread is fresher the, the first morning you open it. The potato chips are fresher right when you first open that bag. To me, the day is fresher. It's crisp. It's brand new. It hasn't been tainted by any, any situations or um, emotions, frustration. Uh, difficulty with um, anything so it's just a brand new day you have a great attitude because you have the whole day in front of you with a, a positive mindset you got the Sun coming up it's a nice day and you get on that motorcycle and it's like the the options and the opportunities are kind of endless I remember back before I had this dog. Now, I try to never leave this dog alone more than four hours because I don't have a backyard uh, that's fenced in or a doggy door. So he's got his bladder to worry about. And he's a, his bloodlines are that of a working Australian Shepherd. And so he's really intelligent and you know, just bred for endurance, and so he's really got mentally and physically a lot of needs, and so obviously leaving him alone for hours and hours on end, he's going to be a little bit um, needy when, when I get home. So, you know, but it was great when I was younger, and I didn't have a dog, and I would leave my house or apartment at, you know, maybe say 7, 8 a.m., knowing that I was going to be gone all day long and sometimes I wouldn't even know what direction I was going as I was walking down to the garage with my helmet and gloves and keys you know and just, that's just like freedom that's just a beautiful thing to be able to go down early in the morning on your motorcycle know you're gonna spend the whole day going wherever you want doing whatever you do I mean I'm way down here in San Pedro 50 minutes from where I grew up and I've lived my whole life. But I used to come down here a lot on my motorcycle because I would just go north or south or east and just go and spend the whole day exploring. So that's how I ended up falling in love with this neighborhood is I would come down here a lot on my motorcycle. But, um, you know, if you're taking like a two hour ride and it's winter time, you know, obviously, at least for me, it's going to be around starting around 10, 30, 11 at the earliest. Because if you're just going for a two hour ride and it's cold winter time, you want to go usually as right around 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock to get that warmth, get the, the highest warmth of the day. Um, but then sunsets can be really nice too a sunset drive along the coast. Especially like, you know, if the evening before the sky really lit up and you, 
you know it looks like it's going to be another nice sunset that's always you know for a real short ride maybe a little 30 40 minute ride just head out right you know <coughs> excuse me 15 or 20 minutes before that sunset's due um, nighttime riding you know I met this guy at um, getting my bike work done at Bartels Harley in Venice and we went out on a couple rides together but his absolute favorite time to ride was nighttime and he liked driving freeways long distance at night and he really tried to get me to go at night with him and I agreed you know eventually but we never did end up taking a night ride and it was mainly because of my hesitance you know I didn't really know him very well or his riding ability and um, just a lot of things can happen a lot quicker it seems like at nighttime so personally I don't really prefer driving at night I don't have a fear of it I don't have any stigma problems with my eyes it just I just know from experience that um, things seem to happen go a little bit haywire a little bit quicker at nighttime because your eyes just aren't processing as much information unless um, something's kind of jumping out at you sometimes that's what it takes to get your attention at nighttime it seems like so sometimes you won't really notice something until you know it's kind of like um, an immediate uh, situation where you have to react very quickly. Just right now, it just popped into my head once driving at night um, through the desert, going to Las Vegas on that mean streak. I was just cruising along by myself, you know, no cars around me, and I didn't see this hubcap. That was see, that was in the road, right in my um, pathway, and I only saw it visually, recognized it, and saw what it was, probably about like maybe three or four feet from my front tire. So if I had tried to really go around it and I didn't make it around it, I would have maybe slid out. So the best option at that point in time appeared to be grip those handlebars tightly and go straight over it, which is what I did. Um, luckily, problem averted, no, no situation. There you go. I prefer morning.